going on, Backstop? Hey! Oh, nice to talk into the mic, man, and especially with my voice, shit. Oh, man, I've been nervous. I've been pacing back and forth all over, so if you guys know that I don't, I normally have a personality, uh, that's why I haven't talked to any of you or said a fucking word, because I've been just trying to make sure that this goes, goes uh, correctly. Uh, my name is B-Rat, I'm the bartender here, I'm not a major comedian. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Trust me, this is why I don't get up here all the time, because I love that more than this. I just like to come out here and make people laugh. Uh, but I grew up in a small town, I grew up out here in Boulder City. If none of you know me, I've grown up out here, I'm a fourth generation from Boulder City. And I grew up as a small kid too. So, um, I got bullied a lot. Um, I also, I guess I might have bullied people too, I had Napoleon Syndrome, so, you know, I thought I could kick everybody's ass. For most of you in here probably, you probably still think I have that syndrome. <laughs> just a heads up, I have a bat behind the bar. It's not just a syndrome, it's a disease. But growing up in a small town is kind of crazy because um, when you start going, when you start taking your kids to school, when you grow up and you start having kids and then you go to school and take them to kindergarten, you start seeing um, other parents and you start to kind of um, pass judgment, so to speak. So you sit there and you're like thinking in your head, you're like, man, hey, there's Fred's kid. That dude was an asshole to me in high school, man. Fuck this kid. He ain't playing baseball, he ain't going to play with me. Fuck him. I'm going to push him down the fucking slide. Back to his and you're like, hey, Carrie, what's up, girl? How you doing? Fucking Bo. <laughs> Didn't give me the time today. I ain't doing your fucking kid the time, neither. <laughs> don't, I get, I, hey, I don't get mad. I get even. Don't judge me. <laughs> but growing up in Boulder City was kind of hard because, uh, as, oh, shit, my mom's here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, we're going to get off of the skin of my mom and go to other stuff, so... <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Growing up in Boulder City, it, 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 it's, there's goods and bads, there's pros and cons. You couldn't throw a rock and a pigeon when you left school without your mom finding out before you got home, am I right? Yeah, that's right. For all you people out here in Boulder City, you know what it is. You throw a rock and a pigeon, someone sees you as you throw the rock, they call your mom, and you get in the house before you even get your shoes off. What the hell is that for? Someone tells grandmothers, nieces, nephews, roommates, uncles, cousins. Dog called me. Told me what was up. I know the dog's not going to call you, but I just wanted to throw that in there. They're like, damn. Hey. Uh, the other parents watch out for your kids. So, you know, you get that phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, your kid's smoking weed at the park. You pull out the bag, you're like, that motherfucker. All right, he's doing chores when he gets home, man. He's washing my car. He's mowing the lawn. He's making up for this. This is bullshit. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. When I was growing up, though, the thing about it was, was we got slapped for things that you did and things that you were about to do. I don't know if you guys remember preemptive slaps. Where you're, what was that for? What you were thinking about doing, going to do, something. You were about to do it. I know you were. And it was right before you went into the laundromat, grocery store, gas station, mall. You know, we were obedient as kids back in the day. Our, our generation was obedient. We listened to our parents. They smacked us. All right, I'm not doing that. Kids these days, they're more literal. They get smacked. Well, I guess I'm going to do that shit. I already got punished. Seems disrespectful that I don't go do it. I already got fucking punished for it. So I'm going out. I'm dead. That's right. I'm going to steal the blow pot. Fuck you. Um, anybody in here got kids? Show of hands. Any old kids? Alright, so I kind of figured this out as a parent. Um, to figure out how, if you ever do carpools, baseball, t ball, soccer, or whatever with other parents, to figure out how, if those parents are good parents, the one way you can figure that out is go to their car, lift up their car seat cover, and look what's underneath. That will tell you what kind of parents they are. If you see more heads and fucking gummy worms, sour gummy worms, and you're like, fuck! They're coming home jacked up on sugar. This is some bullshit. That's not even the right snack for soccer. And <laughs> fuck, bro, he's already fucking married it. <laughs> but now, if you, if you lift it up and you see, like, raisins, peanuts, like, you know, stuff like that, you know, pretzels, 
You're like, all right, these, these parents are cool. And you know, that's how it, it had to have been a single dad that actually came up with trail mix. Because it was a single dad that was going to T-ball, he forgot the kid's snack, was like, shit, I gotta find something. He pulls up the car seat, he's like, aha! I can, I can take some of this dirt out and that little lint piece and everything, it'll be fine. That'd be a great snack for them, man. Trail mix, right then and there. Now me, I'd have to pull out my bag of weed and take the weed out, and put it in the cellophane, and then put the snacks in the, in the, the Ziploc. <laughs> but if it was me as the snack parent, I'd give you the weed up with the trail mix into all the bags and give them to the parents. So that when those little motherfuckers are at home asleep, I look at the parents and go, don't worry, it's organic. <laughs> Yo, that's my time. I'll be right there. Thanks very much, you guys. I appreciate it.